Yes. Okay, uh, my name is Kimbaidu from ENC. Uh, Mr. Chamisa, um, you mentioned that over 68 meetings of the TPC have been banned by police country one. Uh, have you tried to engage the police or what measures are you going to take? And secondly, there are over 100,000 Zimbabweans who are to be deported from South Africa after the uh, expiring of their Zimbabwe exemption penalty. And they will come before election uh, around June, 30 June, they expected to be deported. What's your message to them to, to, to desperate the deportation? Very unfortunate the situation. We had requested our colleagues in South Africa, the South African government, to give some kind of a breathing space because we have a very untenable situation in the country. But unfortunate as the situation is, we are encouraging Zimbabweans to also take this moment to end the shame and the embarrassment. Mm. This harassment is unacceptable. Mm. We are almost like a pariah generation, mm. a pariah nation in our neighboring countries. Yet we have 60 resources plus. Mm. We have a very rich country. We are very rich a country. Look at the money that is being stolen through corruption. Mm. Look at the Al Jazeera report, the snippets that have come out. Mm. You understand that there is a lot of money. Gold is everywhere. Diamond is everywhere. Wait when we become a government and we start the looting. The looting. Everything is going to flourish. <clears throat> but we need to make sure that we fix it. How do we fix it? Help us to fix the problem. Come and register as voters. Even if you have not yet come back, come and register as voters. We want to make sure that every citizen is registered as a voter. Of course, we want to make sure that we achieve victory and victory for the people of Zimbabwe, particularly in the diaspora. Over 5 million citizens are in the diaspora. That's our expert, you know, skilled and gifted people. We want them back to rebuild our country and to make Zimbabwe a wonderful and great country again. The police, yes, we have engaged the police several times. We continue to engage them. But we also know that the police hands are tight. They try their best, but you know they are dealing with the manacles and shackles of a dictatorship. So we feel sorry for our police. It's not the police. You know, you don't blame an instrument or the weapon. You blame the one who carries it and the one who commands it, one who is behind it, we know is my brother, he's afraid of an election, he's afraid of a fair fight, he wants to use all tricks, and we know what he's doing, but it's a fight, it's a struggle, that's why we're in a struggle, it's not going to be a walk in the park, it's going to be tough, but we are ready for it. Yes, they will ban us, but I can tell you that we can't be banned from the hearts of the citizens of Zimbabwe. Yes, they will stop our rallies, but we can't be stopped in appealing to the citizens of Zimbabwe. In fact, we are the next government. They know it. That's why they are panicking. But we have told them that we are not going to form an exclusive government. Ours is going to be a people's government, a citizen's government. You will also be part of it. I've said this over and over again. Mr. Munangagwa, don't worry. We are not vindictive. We will make sure that you enjoy your farm and all the things we have already accumulated. You are a liberation war hero. We own our liberation war heroes. We don't pursue them. I don't subscribe to vindictiveness. We want rapprochement, reconciliation, building our country. Yes, by God must be dealt with. But we don't do it at the expense of the stability and unity of our country. Those are the things that are going to guide us so that we unite people. In fact, the future is very non-partisan. We are not going to be seeing parties in the future. We are going to see Zimbabwe. It's your, part, your ability it's your integrity, it's your quality and content of your character and honor as a citizen that is going to define you, not the party card. Right now, if you want to have a claim to a mine, want to have a farm, you must carry a card, a card of a party. That's reducing people in civilization. We don't want a party card for anything. No party card. If you want party cards, that's for your political party, but not for government. Government, you need a citizen card. Are you a citizen? You deserve to benefit from the facilities of government.